I think not being afraid to address my fantasies and not being afraid to say I'm attracted to these men. I've always painted men that I'm attracted to, but I always kind of skirted around the issue. And now I'm being a little bit more forward with that. I think women need to stop being ashamed of their desire and being more forward with what they want instead of being submissive. I put my dominance in by who I choose and the more attracted I am to one of these figures, the better that I paint them. And I thought that the wrestling was like a great metaphor on um, kind of that submissive and dominance and the struggle. Um, there's also a lot of pain and pleasure in the expressions that these wrestlers have that just felt really powerful. For me, I think cutting out the figures and the shapes um, objectifies them more. And um, I definitely wanted to objectify these men because men aren't usually portrayed in an objectified way. So I kind of wanted to flip that script. Recently, I got to show at the Professional Wrestling Museum and Hall of Fame in Wichita Falls. And through that, I was able to have these actual wrestlers see these paintings because the board members personally know a lot of them. I got to hear the stories of how they appreciated the fandom. The responses kind of felt like a validation, like I kind of won in a way. Um, with the wrestling museum, I wasn't super forward with my attraction to these men and I approached it more from the fandom side. And so kind of seeing a little bit of sexuality and like everyday kind of unseen subjects and themes really interests me because in bed you kind of fantasize about things that you like and I like the kitschness of a heart-shaped bed and it references 1970s love hotels. The viewers are encouraged to lay on the bed and look at these paintings. I'm Megan Ping and this is my thesis show Don't Tap Out and you can see this work at Mary Tomas Gallery in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Bye!